hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Fola and i am a nigerian youtuber based in vancouver canada if this is your first time on my channel welcome 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 i'm so glad to have you here please do not forget to subscribe before you leave don't just come and watch this video and you know if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again you already know how we do now let's get into today's video so guys something happened yesterday i had like an encounter that made me understand or i don't want to say understand because it's not like i did not understand this before this is something i think personally i've always known and something i've always shared with people around me but it made me understand better why it's very important for us or yeah you as a person to be very confident i'm not even going to say very confident but at least to have a certain level of confidence and to be able to express yourself properly to be able to speak for your work and you know market yourself when the need arises so i'm not going to go into details what exactly happened in this encounter but it had to do with somebody that somebody that does good work somebody that is very very talented and had a lot to offer not being able to speak about what they had to offer and it was not a pleasant sight to you know behold this is not the first time i'm seeing somebody um experience something like that but i think yesterday's one just you know really pissed me off it, i mean it had nothing to do with me but it just really pissed me off because i'm like no this is not um something that people should be struggling with at this point i mean to this level where as a grown adult a, um a grown adult a graduate somebody that's very talented you can't speak for yourself you have like a very very low level of confidence and that same yesterday like when someone was telling me because i also had to speak and all that so someone was telling me that oh wow father you know how to speak you're so confident i wish i was like you blah 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 and that's not the first time i'm getting that kind of you know comments from people people always assume that because i talk a lot i just you know i was born with confidence <laughs> i came out of my mother's womb with this confidence and with the ability to just you know express myself and speak properly but guys it's not like that which is why today i decided that okay let me just come and talk about this and i'm just going to come and share a few tips for people that might also be going through this difficulty that might be struggling with building confidence and struggling with being able to express themselves i'm just going to share a few tips that i personally use that helps me build my confidence because it's not like i am at the level i want to be yet like confidently but when it comes to speaking for myself when it is needed and when it comes to you know just going out there to talk i don't think i always have an issue with it and there are certain tips that help me do this properly so guys this is what i'm just going to be sharing today this video is going to be a very quick video and it's just like off the top of my head i also want to add that a lot of people believe um most people that are confident are people that uh, like to talk a lot you know talkatives and all that guys that is totally totally wrong we have people that are talkatives that are not confident like when it comes to um speaking you know confidently or expressing themselves when it's needed they don't know how to do it you start this you see them they start stuttering or they start you know just fidgeting and all that and we also have people that are not talkative but when it comes to speaking confidently pushing their work and blowing their trumpets they come out they do it and they just you know go back to being their normal quiet self so those these two things do not come together i see a lot of people think oh you talk a lot so that's why it's easy for you to you know come and speak for yourself i'm quite gentle so i really don't know how to do all this guys that is very wrong and that's the first way you can kill your confidence thinking you have to be a talkative before you can be confident no that's wrong so guys the first tip that helps me build confidence or helps me be confident when um it's needed is that i like to increase my knowledge depending on the scenario depending on where i have to speak depending on um what is happening 
i don't always just go with an empty head or empty or a blank head if it's for an interview i try to always load myself up with so much information and knowledge that relates to the interview if it's for a presentation i do the same thing if it's just for basic like um public speaking even for this youtube that i do i don't just like come and start talking 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 i try to make sure that i have enough information on what it is that i want to speak on even if i'm not going to be reading a script or um googling what i want to discuss i still like just you know practice on my own off camera so this is one thing that kills a lot of people's confidence and this is one thing that i've experienced too personally most times when you're not confident it's because you do not have so much knowledge on the subject matter so you don't even know what to say your head is blank and because of that you become you know timid you become shy you start stuttering and you are scared because you don't want to say something that will make um whoever is listening to you laugh at you or whatever so guys the first tip to building your confidence is making sure you are loaded upstairs and you cannot be loaded upstairs if you don't like take your time to learn about things study and prepare for whatever it is that you want to speak about even if it is yourself we like to think we know a lot about ourselves but in some cases that there are some situations that what you need to say about yourself is not something that is in the front of your head like it's not something that will just be right there so guys it is very important to always be prepared take time to learn and always try to increase your knowledge when you see that you have a lot upstairs you will not be so so scared to speak when it is needed because you are confident that you know what you're saying and that you have something to say so guys this is the first tip to building confidence now the second one can also be linked to the first one which is basically having a good vocabulary yes this one is very very important a lot of times people lose confidence because they do not know how to express themselves properly like they know what to say they have all the information they have the knowledge but they do not know how to just you know say it and this is why you see some people they are like oh, i know it i know it, but i don't just know how to put it i don't know how to explain it i don't know how to do this i don't know how to do that not having a good vocabulary can kill your confidence that is just the truth i don't think i need to speak so much on this if you have um difficulty speaking a particular language let's say english for example and you have to communicate and you know speak about something in english language it will not take anything from you to like just take a few minutes or a few hours to practice what you need to say in english language properly and make sure that you are communicating effectively if your vocabulary is very poor trust me it will not only kill your confidence even the audience you might be speaking to will not be interested in what you are saying so guys having a good vocabulary is very very important so guys the next tip i'm going to be sharing on building confidence is fake it till you make it i think this is one of the only things i support or i would like yeah i would support people faking till they actually become it faking how to be confident faking being confident like guys i used to do this a lot because i remember at a point my my confidence level was very very low i didn't like it i was too shy i am still shy though which is one thing i want you guys to understand i am still shy but if i have to speak or i have to do something in public i am going to come out and do it and then once i'm done i will go back to being shy i don't know if that makes sense so guys this is one thing i had to do to build my confidence level because i didn't like the fact that i would have to speak sometimes at presentations even when i was in university would have to do presentation and i'll be so scared my voice would be shaking or i'll be rapping what i have to say you know just blah, 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 blah. i didn't like it so i took it upon myself that oh my god i want to improve my confidence level i want to be able to speak properly in front of people and one thing that helped me was faking it yes pretending all i had to do was pretend that i was confident and before you know it i became confident it, my confidence level went up like it increased a lot so guys this is another tip that helps fake it till you make it so the last one i am going to be talking about is practice guys i said in the beginning of this video that nobody was born knowing how to do anything perfectly 
even if it is a skill or a god-given um, talent you still have to put in effort to improve that skill and this also applies to building confidence it doesn't come in one day it doesn't just magically appear or because your vocabulary is now good or because you have so much knowledge on this thing once you just go out there like this you are now confident no you have to constantly practice even if it's like if you have to speak tomorrow somewhere or you have to you know defend yourself in a couple of minutes a couple of hours there's there's nothing wrong with taking few seconds out to just practice practice makes perfect and this is very important like in management consulting they will say always do a dry run do a dry run practice what you have to say even when you still have enough time practice when you are alone practice stand in front of the mirror practice just keep practicing until you can see that you are now sharpened you can see that oh yes what you have to say you can now say it properly and the way you are speaking is not like somebody that does not know what they're saying or somebody that is not confident in what they're saying so guys practice makes perfect so guys i hope with these few tips of mine you'll be able to take your confidence level from zero to 100 remember guys increase your knowledge expand your vocabulary practice and fake it till you make it guys thank you so much for watching if you have other tips to share on how to build confidence please do so in the comment section share this with anyone you think might need it and do not forget to subscribe to my channel also Give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.